Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is, are you an introvert or an extrovert? And how to speak more of your target language. Since you're learning the language, then you're very much aware of the importance of speaking, which can be easy if you're an extrovert or hard if you're an introvert. So how can you speak more if you're on the shy side? Keep watching this month's episode. You'll discover who learns faster, extroverts or introverts, why learning a language can help you become more extroverted, and five ways to speak more, even if you're an introvert. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Sport and Exercise Conversation Cheat Sheet. Want to talk about fitness in your target language? You'll learn over 50 words and phrases for sports and exercise with this brand new cheat sheet. Second, the 40 words and phrases for ordering food writing workbook. With this free resource, you'll pick up must-know words and phrases for the restaurant and practice writing them out as well. Third, the top 12 April Fool's phrases. Want to be able to say some outrageous phrases in your target language for April Fool's Day? Then you'll want this April Fool's phrase list. Fourth, can you talk about your bones in your target language? Learn how to say words like skull, ribs, spine, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fifth, 20 must-know jewelry vocabulary. Do you know how to say earrings or necklace in your target language? If you don't, then this vocab lesson is for you. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? And how to speak more of your target language. Part one, do extroverts or introverts learn languages faster? If you've ever wondered whether introverts or extroverts learn the language faster, there have been studies done on this. And as you'd expect, extroverts do have an advantage when it comes to speaking and overall conversational skills. Of course, these studies didn't take into account mistakes you may make, such as grammar, vocab, etc. And introverts? Introverts tend to observe and listen more and tend to be better listeners. Do you agree with these findings? Leave a comment. So the key takeaway is they each have their own advantages. One has something that the other lacks. And that makes sense, doesn't it? If you speak less, your speaking skills will be weaker. And if you want to just speak a lot, you get good at speaking but miss out on the other skills like listening and reading. So unfortunately, you can't really say who learns faster based on personality alone, just that each one has their advantages and disadvantages. But personality aside, success with a language will always depend on your attitude towards learning itself and how much time you put in. The person that has a better chance of becoming fluent will always be the one that puts in more time to learn, practice, get feedback, adjust with the feedback, and not so much about whether they're extroverted or introverted. But what if you're an introvert who wants to be able to speak more? Is there a way to become more extroverted? Part two. How to speak more, even if you're an introvert. There are ways to become more extroverted, at least more than your usual self. How? Well, first, by learning a language. When you learn a language, you have a natural desire to connect with native speakers, even if you're shy. Also, native speakers tend to be very supportive and welcoming when you're trying to learn their language. So even if you're shy, it's kind of hard to stay shy in the long run when the people you speak with are so encouraging. In your native language, even if you know a million ways to start a conversation, you might not try to speak to someone because you're worried about whether you have something clever to say or the timing or some other social aspect. But in another language where you may only know a few phrases, you're not bogged down by that. You just do the best you can with the few phrases you have. Plus, learning a language alone gives you a chance to reinvent yourself. To learn another language is to acquire another soul, as the quote goes. So learning a language alone puts you on a path towards becoming more extroverted. But if you want specific tips, here are five ways to speak more, even if you're an introvert. Number one, 
Learn how to listen like an introvert. How can this help you to speak more? Introverts tend to listen more, and the better listener you become, the better questions you can ask, which results in a more meaningful conversation, which also means more speaking time for you. So you can speak more, even if you consider yourself an introvert, by listening well and asking relevant and pertinent questions. By the way, if you want to learn how to ask questions, then check out our top 25 questions you need to know, where you'll learn all about what to ask and answer regarding the most common conversational questions. Number two, increase speaking time and confidence through experience. Simply put, the more experiences you have in life or experience with certain topics, the more knowledgeable you become. And as your life or work experiences grow, so will your audience. You'll find people coming to you to talk to you. It could be about business, travel, or just your own life stories. If a conversation is about France, and if you've been to France, the conversation will gravitate towards you. Having all that experience makes things easy for you as an introvert. People will come to you, so you don't have to find them. For a language learner, the tricks are to one, be knowledgeable about something, and two, be able to talk about your experience in the target language. Number three, find the right audience. Imagine talking to someone that's not interested in learning languages. They'll give you 100 reasons why they can't learn, never reasons why it might work out for them, right? But when you're talking to an audience that's interested in languages, then you can have a conversation that could go on for hours. So find the right audience to share with. With language learning, it means you need to find native speakers that share the same hobbies or interests as you. Number four, talk about what you know best. The introvert-extrovert dynamic also depends on how much you know about a topic and what you're most comfortable with. There are topics you may not know enough about, so you won't talk as much. But even the biggest introvert can become a confident speaker. Once you touch upon a topic they know well, that's where they shine. So if your goal is to be more extroverted, then focus on the things you know about. Or you can always gain experience in topics you don't know much about so you can speak more. Number five, create opportunities to speak. How? Well, it's hard to stop a stranger and start talking with them without any context, right? But what if you need help finding something at a store or have a question about a dish at a restaurant? Then it's much easier since you're there with a purpose. So you can create these opportunities by going to a restaurant from the country that speaks your target language and speaking with the staff, or asking a taxi driver a question, or asking staff at an information booth a question. So to recap, if you want to speak more, even if you're an introvert, one, listen like an introvert. Two, increase speaking time and confidence through experience. Three, find the right audience. Four, talk about what you know best. And five, create opportunities to speak. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how tipping points will bring you closer to your language goals. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.